Greetings and welcome to this brand new video. I hope you are all doing well. So in this video, I will show how you can fix this red bar or the RDAR error, which you mostly get on your iPhone 10 R or iPhone 11 devices, ranging from iOS 17.0 through iOS 18. When you try to apply the dynamic island using Misaka X or Nougat. This video is for Windows users and the method shown in this video is completely free. Now for this method to work, first of all, install iTunes on your Windows PC from the official Apple's website. Also, if you installed it from the Microsoft Store, please uninstall it and get it from here. As you can see right here, I already got iTunes and installed it before this tutorial on my Windows PC. The very next thing you need is Kaobanga Lite Windows from its official GitHub page. It is also completely free and simply get to the latest release here and get this zip file Kaobanga Lite.zip. As you can see it right here, I got this file. Once you get it, simply right click and extract all you will get this folder. Now simply connect your iOS device via USB, open the folder and run Kaobanga Lite and make sure your device is now detected here in Kaobanga Lite. Leave it here. Next, to fix the red bar issue, you need this file and to get that file, you may visit this GitHub page. As you can see it right here, we have the fix for order for iPhone 10 R or the iPhone 11. Scroll down, go to releases here and simply get this file. You will see this playlist file here and you can see it here above. It is for Windows. Once you get this file, simply copy it. Then Windows plus R on your keyboard. Then percent app data percentage. Hit OK. Now go to the Kaobanga Lite folder here, then go to workplace and if you have multiple devices and you are confused about the UDID of your device, you may simply open iTunes, connect your device and simply tap here until you get your UDID. As you can see, this UDID matches with this folder. So I will open it, then go to skip setup, then go to manage preferences domain mobile and simply paste this file here. Also at this point, I recommend backing up your device's data using iTunes, all right? So if in any case, anything goes wrong, you can always restore the backup. Once the data is backed up and the file is copied, go to Kaobanka Lite, then go to setup options here, enable modify, and make sure skip setup is enabled. Then hit apply. Then hit apply changes. Your device will reboot. Now once the process is complete, now you may enable dynamic island using this option 2796 from Misaka 10 to your device. If you don't know how to use Misaka 10 or Misaka X, a complete guide is in the description. Yes, you may use Nougat by simply selecting this option and then from here select device subtype preset and from there use these options to enable dynamic island also for no good a complete guide is in the description if you don't know how to use it and after this fix your device will look like this with the dynamic island applied correctly that's all for this video guys. If you still have questions, please ask in the comments section and I will reply you as soon as possible. I will see you in a new video. Goodbye and take care.